Hey everybody, today we're doing a six minute warm up that you can do before your workout. We are going to raise your heart rate that will increase your core temperature and reduce your risk of injury. We're also going to mobilize your joints, increase your range of motion and activate and prepare your muscles for your workout. Okay, let's get started with skipping. You're just going to imagine you have a skipping rope and jump over the rope as you flip it with your wrist. So warming up your wrists, legs, core, and getting the heart rate up. We're going into backwards skipping now. So imagine you're jumping the rope backwards, your wrists are flipping backwards. And again, just stepping over that imaginary rope. Next, we've got star jumps. So as you can see, you're just jumping out with your feet as your arms go out to the side. Again, warming up your core temperature, getting the heart rate up <laughs> and warming up those joints. I'm going to add in a variation here with a crossover. So you just bring your opposite arm or elbow to your opposite knee. Yes, you may need a little bit of coordination with this one. If you're not up for it, that's okay. Just do the normal star jumps. Okay, next we're gonna do high knees. So just jogging on the spot and bringing those knees up as high as possible. Try to really draw in your core here. Breathe, relax your shoulders. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to kick your feet up towards your bottom and then pump the arms up above your head. If you do have a sore neck or have any problems through the shoulders, you can just pump to the side or out in front of you, no problems. Okay, now we're going to squat down and then lift up onto the toes as you circle the arms out and up. Squat down into the heels and up onto the toes as you circle the arms up. Beautiful, keep your balance. <laughs> and remember when you squat, you're trying to keep your back in neutral so you're not bending through the back. You're upright as tall as possible, using your legs, pushing through the heels, squeezing your glutes to get up. Next on the list, we're doing a lateral lunge with a reach. So you're stretching through the inner thigh, working through the outer glute, and just lean. Just remember when you're leaning forward, you're leaning from the hips. Don't bend through the back. So cores are nice and tight to support that back and just a gentle reach to the opposite leg. Okay, next on the list, we're going to do an overhead sumo squat with a pull down. So feet just a little bit wider than hip width. And you're just gonna squat down with your arms above your head. And as you come up from the squat, squeeze your glutes and then pulling the shoulder blades back and down. Warming up between the shoulder blades and the lats, beautiful. Okay, moving on, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a side stretch. Just lunge back into that front heel, pushing through the heel of the front foot, and you're going to lift the arm and stretch up and over. Try not to lean over too much, it's more of an upward stretch and just elongate the side of the body, keep the core on. Okay, now we're gonna lunge forward with a rotation. So lunge forward into the heel, make sure the front knee doesn't go forward, going straight down, and then with your core on, I can't emphasize this enough, keep your core and hips still and twist through your core, not through your back. It's just a slight twist through the upper spine and not crunching into the lower back. Okay, our second to last warm up exercise is a walkout with a step through and a rotation. So I want you to squat it down, walk it out with your hands to a high plank position where your hands are directly under your chest. Then you're gonna step that foot out next to your wrist and then lift that wrist up towards the sky. Make sure your core's on, your glutes on as you rotate. So you're gonna squat it down, walk your hands out to a high plank position. Your hands stop right under your chest. And then you're gonna squeeze your core in as you lift that leg so it steps to the side of your wrist. Core on, bum on, 
and then rotate so your hand goes directly to the ceiling, squeezing your shoulders back and down. Then step it back, step through with the other leg as you rotate up to the ceiling or the sky. And just remember, keep your shoulder blades pulling back and down your body, away from your ears, so you're not letting your shoulders hunch up near your ears. I want to see a nice long neck. Okay, the last ones we are going to do today are glute bridges. So I want you to lay on your back with your shoulders relaxed, have your feet hip width apart, and you should be able to touch your heels with your hands. Let's draw your core in, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes and then lift the hips so you're drawing a line from your shoulders to your knees. And really try not to let your rib cage come up. So keep your core on to keep your rib cage down. If you have those mastered, we can go into single leg glute bridges. So just have one leg long and you're going to tuck and lift working through the opposite glute. So really tucking, pushing through the heel and squeezing that one glute to get your hips up, keep your hips nice and stable. Amazing work, that's our six minute warm up guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're warm and ready to take on your workout. Enjoy, see you next time, bye.